Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's I'm Serena Nicole, and today we're doing a 2020 recap video. Um, I'm basically gonna give you guys an overview of what my 2020 was like. Uh, so if you're interested, if you're feeling like you wanna listen to this, if you're feeling like maybe you're a little nosy, and that's okay, because I would do the same thing. Or maybe you just want to like relate and hear if someone's 2020 was similar to yours. Stay tuned. Um, I feel like this video is very timely, um, <laughs> given my last video. So let's just get into it. guys so on my usual updates I feel like I always go from like work update love update life update things like that and I want to do an update by the month so we are going to spill a little bit of tea in this video because I'm gonna be real but you know what it is what it is Okay guys, so we're gonna go from month to month basically going through my 2020. Um, I think it's a really good way for me to kind of recall what happens in what months. So we're just gonna go through my camera roll, just scroll through and kind of give you guys my recap. So in January, from what I'm seeing, I was doing a lot of rebranding with my skincare brand, which I do recall this. I basically was planning my rebrand. I wanted to launch in the beginning of um, February. So that was a huge thing that I started in January. Um, I also went to Spain in January, which was a really big deal for me. Um, I was talking to somebody that was like out there at the time and basically, it didn't work out, which is on my Spain blog. It's no longer on here. Um, but it was funny because I feel like after I got back from Spain and this whole fallout or whatever with this person happened, I feel like it really kind of like plunged me into my rebrand, doing my rebrand well and like kind of just like really like putting my energy into that and all that stuff. And I honestly, like I feel like when things happen sometimes you kind of just like sit and think like why is this happening to me now like you know kind of trying to understand the rhyme and the reason towards it and I feel like honestly it was like plunging me into um like my business stuff and getting that stuff together and getting off the ground and just you know doing all those good things um besides that in January I also well I kind of continued slash started pole dancing classes and stuff and that was huge for me because I also felt like I wanted to start connecting more with myself and like having that sexual connection to my sexuality and to how cute I thought I was and all of that stuff um, and also in January I shaved my head at the end of January can't forget that so January was was a big month for me okay guys February so well at the end of January beginning of February that's when I had my rebrand photo shoot um, it was such a great photo shoot I'm so thankful to everyone that came out and helped they were literally such great people um, I literally fucked with all of them um, it was so nice it was such good vibes I was so happy with the content that we had and like redoing my website and everything like that like it honestly it took a long time <laughs> but it was so good and I loved how my website looked. I felt like I was finally like really connecting to my brands. Like I was like this clean like approach is like something that I can resonate with and stuff. And I honestly just loved it. What else happened in February? Um, my friend launched a podcast. I went to his little podcast like um, launch thing which I loved. Um, I started getting brand ambassadors for my brand too, which was huge. Um, they are so great, they're still great, um, but it was so great to like kind of start that, have them there, all that stuff. Um, I started hanging out with a new friend. Um, that was great, like, and when I say friend, I actually mean friend. <laughs> and that was super great. Um, I think I posted her or talked about her in like a 2020 like expectation video. 
I'm gonna link it at the end of this video to add something to watch. Um, but that, and then honestly, oh, in February, that's when I started finalizing my apartment. So like, that's when I was like, okay, this is like um, where I'm gonna be living and stuff like that. Like I went to go measure the apartment, look into it, all that stuff, and that's when I started packing as well up my old apartment, which was super bittersweet because I love Chanel so much. She was such a huge part of me like moving to DC, so it was like, even though it was a new year, and sometimes people think like new years are when like your new moments start, I feel like, this like March was like my 25th birthday like, and a huge kind of like movement into my own kind of like space being and all that stuff. March. So March was my birthday month. March was when shit started getting crazy here. But before that, before that was even a thought, I literally was planning to go well. I was originally planning to go to Thailand for my birthday. That did not happen because my layover for Thailand, even though at the time the pandemic wasn't really a thing there, um, we did have a layover in Beijing. Due to that, my flight was canceled. That kind of spun me out because I then had to plan a different birthday trip because I was like I'm 25 I still want to go somewhere I still want to do something and so that's when I planned Columbia um honestly Columbia ended up being so fun I loved Columbia me and Yemi had so much fun it was literally just like this nice warm cute tropical place we had really great excursions um it was the beaches were great Yemi was honestly, she is always such a good travel partner. And I feel like we had such a good time. And I think that, to be honest, it was a perfect place for us to go before the pandemic hit. Um, we just were like kind of living in our own vacation bubble. And then when we got home, shit got crazy. And I moved, so I moved all March. And honestly, I didn't really feel the like the impact of the pandemic yet because I felt like I was just like in motion. Like I was getting furniture, I was doing this, I was moving on my stuff, I was just, you know, doing things, like setting up everything, like putting my furniture together, like just like a cute, like acclimating myself to living by myself. And like March was a huge transition month for not only the world, but also for me. Okay, so now we're in April. So in April, that's when I feel like the pandemic kind of started to hit me. Um, I was kind of like, okay, this disconnect is getting real. Um, and I know that sounds dramatic because it was still the beginning of the pandemic, but I was like, this, it, it's kind of getting crazy. Like we're not, like we're not around each other. Like no one, not no one wants to be around each other, but we're, we just can't. And that's when I started doing these takeovers on my Instagram um, with my brand ambassadors. Everyone kind of had a day and they brought my skincare followers through their day, which I loved. And it was super personable, it was super fun. Um, and I think it just gave everyone kind of like a sense of community, like a, a sense of people that they felt as though they were like bonding with at that time. Um, it was also a time where I had no nails, I had no eyelashes, my eyebrows were like kind of done because I was like plucking them and stuff. Um, but this was like when I really started to like, I had to like embrace my like natural self. Like I was like, I need to start getting cute like like some days out the week like Thursday Friday Saturday like things like that since I'm not going out but like I had to get cute in a way where like I was still natural I had no choice but to do that so I feel like I was really kind of like embracing my natural self and like really seeing like what it is to be cute and natural at the same time now May May was the first time that I saw some friends. Um, my friends had like a little birthday kind of get together and 
that was like the first time I was like around people. We like drank, different things like that. And I was just like, wow, like I am not used to this. Like this is when people were warming up a little bit. Um, to having small gatherings, of course, still super small and super cautious. But this was my first time like seeing people again. And I was like, wow, like this, this is different. This is really different. Also, in May is when I tried to wax myself for the first time. That, that was something else. That was something else. I will never do that again, unless it's like a small cleanup, but wow. All I can say is wow. Also, in May, a, or was it? Yeah, it was May. <laughs> in May, um, another somebody, Try a couple of people actually tried to come back around. Um, this really bothered me in May. I feel like I I feel like in the beginning of the pandemic, um, it was kind of like I was by myself. I was chilling. I was cool. All that stuff. Then it was like okay, March passed. Um, I was super busy. Um, April. April passed, I'm still kind of like getting used to it. I'm still new to my apartment. I am living by myself. But then by May, that's when I really noticed I'm by myself, right? Like I'm, I'm, I'm alone. I'm, you know, chilling by myself. And I think everyone kind of started to feel that way. And here goes people hitting my line saying, you know, they miss me and they feel like the Lord brought them back around and they want a second chance, they want a third chance, they want all these things, they're gonna show up and blah, 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 blah. And May was a very confusing month for me in that way because I'm not the type to like to be naive. And I feel like I had a soft spot for people just because of where, you know, the world was and being like, you know what, it's, it's not gonna kill me to give these people some of my time. I do have extra time, so it's not gonna kill me to give them some of it, um, especially with caution. But May, that's when people started coming back around. Um, but then something that was really cool off brand, but not off brand, but off that subject was also, um, me and my friends did like this boat trip and that was super fun. Not a boat trip, but we did like this boat, um, like yacht party for my friend's birthday. And that honestly was such a fun moment. Like that was like a real fun summer moment. Like it was giving Miami vibes. It was super fun. I loved my friends for it and I felt like that is exactly what we needed at that point and it was so nice to community. Okay, so June is when things got a little interesting for me. I'm able to get my lashes done now. Different things are starting to go into different phases and things like that. And the same people who came around in May are starting to show they ass in June, okay? Honestly, it was, through, throughout the whole pandemic, people have tried to show the fuck up and do whatever the fuck they wanted. And truthfully, June is where people really try to play themselves and play themselves as in like, try to be someone that I don't feel like they really are. And I think I noticed that via Instagram and things like that. This was the time in the pandemic where everybody was really kinda just very sus to me. People were starting to do weird shit. People were just, it was just weird vibes. And I feel like all in all in June, like the whole month was kind of like me thinking about my friends coming at the end of the month for my SNS one year um, celebration that I had, which I loved and had such a good time with. And I feel like that also came at the perfect time because not one year, but two year. Um, because it was so nice for my friends to like for my true friends to be around, especially when I felt like everyone was starting to act a little fugazi, you know? I was like, mm, 
everyone's acting kind of bluesy, they're acting kind of weird, kind of funny. Um, and I feel like my friends just made me feel like there's still some normal people on the earth, okay? And also, I started getting my nails done again. That was nice. And I think I just kind of started like putting myself back together in those ways, like grooming wise. And I was just kind of feeling myself, feeling cute. And in June, I met my friend Mide, um, that you guys probably either see her or hear her in my video. She lives in my building. You guys probably either see her or hear her in my videos in my building. Um, it's crazy because she asked me to help her with the jewelry shoot and we kind of became friends from there. And she's been a really huge part of my life since then. Um, she's a really great friend and I'm like really happy that like out of the pandemic I could say like I met a really cool person. Um, I met a really cool person and I really like appreciate her energy and stuff um I would say that like it just it came out of nowhere and it, it was like a great thing to feel like especially not only with my friends and seeing them at the time um having my one year I mean having my two year and celebrating with them and all that stuff but like meeting another genuine human being where I could be like you know what? Put my faith back in the people, okay? Put my faith back in people. Now we at July. So at this point, um, a lot of my little sisters were graduating. Well, they graduated in May, but July and June and things like that is when people started to do the little pull up, pop out, um, drive by graduation things. So that was really nice that I got to see them and kind of like celebrate and things like that in like a distance type of way, but still show up for them, which I thought was super important. Um, to everyone that graduated throughout this, you are super strong, um, you are so perseverant, and honestly, like you have people that are 100% like impressed by your steadfastness to finish a degree and especially at the end of a senior year, which can be crazy out of the things that were taken away from you, um, that you were able to still do that is amazing. Um, I was able to hang out with some friends in July. Again, um, we had, what was it called? Say 4th, 4th of July. <laughs> 4th of July. Um, but in the same note with having 4th of July, I feel like not only during the whole pandemic, but we noticed in July that we are not really free. And by we, I mean black people. And that was really disheartening because not only did black people have to deal with the pandemic, but did we have to deal with all of the racism. Um, I really feel like it really started to hit me in July. Like, wow, wow, wow. Like, Days were starting to get harder, like even though we were coming more together as people, like days were just starting to get harder in terms of being able to cope and say, you know what, like, like I can, I can get up and face the day. You know, it was getting very difficult because like it, it literally just felt like we were in this, like not only are we alone, like literally, you know, pandemic distance and all of that stuff, but like, are we really alone in the way that like people dead don't care about us? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like that was really starting to hit me crazy. And another thing with that, and it is unfortunate still that there is things in the pandemic that kind of like push people closer to others, but like, I wish that things, I don't always think it's great to bond in times of strife. I know that people say that's when some of the closest bonds form with people, but like honestly, sometimes when things happen under super harsh conditions, like I don't know if you guys follow Just the Boy, but if you guys follow him and saw his page, he was like, if I talked to you during the pandemic, it wasn't valid because I thought we were gonna die. This is, this is when you started noticing that people really was scared for their life and 
anybody was talking to anybody. Okay, August. In August, well kind of like end of July, beginning of August, my friend Bree moved to the DMV. It was so great. Uh, she's still here, but that was when she moved. And it was so great because it was just like another friend is in the area. Um, I love Ken's. We have been in this area with each other since we graduated. Um, but to have another friend here that was like expanding her horizons and like getting a new job and like just doing all these things, I was so proud of her. And it was so nice to have her here. Um, she had her birthday here, like our friends were here again. It was so nice, I loved it. And I love her, so free, hi. <laughs> um, and also, I was able to get braids in August. I was so hyped. I was so hyped, y'all. I was growing my hair just to get braids, honestly. And when I got braids, I felt like the cutest bitch around. I was like, braids, what was said, <laughs> nothing. Um, and also that's when I started to get like cute. Me and Mide decided that we were gonna start to um, like go out more, get ourselves together like once a month at least and go out to dinners, which we still do now. And it was a great thing to start. Um, I was so kind of like into it. Like I was just like, let's get cute. Like let's feel ourselves, let's do this, let's do that. And I think that like separating away from you know, people who were like trying to be on my line and all those things like that. And like giving, like, you know, people can sometimes make you feel cute just by giving you attention sometimes. It was nice to give myself that attention. And that's where the switch up motherfucking happens, okay? August was when I bought this book called All About Love by Bell Hooks and that changed the game. That is when all about the pandemic, I was praying for my family, my friends, myself. I was praying for us to have abundant love and wealth and life and like health and all of those things. And you know what the pandemic gave me? You know what the pandemic gave me? I thought I was gonna be cuffed. And you know what? I ended up cuffing myself. I ended up really loving on myself and that shit that shit was really the game changer for everyone um so at the end of august beginning of september that is when we started really getting our black lives matter shit together okay me and my friends all went to the march that happened in dc um that was huge like that was amazing that was empowering i was like wow um a lot of my friends started coming to dc as well my friends had a pop-up shop it was so fun um it was good my friends had birthdays it was it was it was honestly starting to feel like people were kind of getting back to some type of sense of normal in a cautious way um, me and my friends started doing pool Sundays. That was so fun. Like pool Sundays were the highlights of my summer. I never expected to have a summer like I had, but my summer was so fun. Like when I tell you like, yeah, I went through things. Yeah, like I kind of went through different emotions and all that stuff. But like my friends really showed the fuck out this summer. Like in the smallest ways. I was so happy to be where I was at. Like, I feel like my, like literally pool Sundays happened like three minutes away from my house. My friends were here. Um, my little sisters are with me. Like we were just having fun, drinking, swimming in the pool. Like just having little, like little get togethers with each other. Like we were really building these memories that we can really look back on and be like, you know what? We had some fun quarantine memories. I got mad games, like it was just like mad fun. And I was just so happy to like be there. Um, I feel like in, in that same like thing, it was like summer was over kind of, like it was still kind of hot in September, but kind of not. Um, but then it was just like, it gave me like hope for like the fall, for the future, for things like that and I, loved it i was i was literally so happy and ready for fall and to finish the end of the year so 
in September also, that is when my hair was growing more, that's when I was flourishing, and I kind of, I'm still flourishing, but that's kind of when things are starting to come together. Like now I'm on this high, I have this different perspective, I have these different thoughts and things like that. And honestly, it was perfect timing because I was so happy that my best friend was also turning 25 and her birthday didn't exactly go as planned given the timing, but we still had so much fun. And I was able to see her in New York and hang out with her and have fun and all of those things. And like really kind of like shed that and like kind of like pour that positive energy like right back onto her, which I feel like was super nice and super needed um, for her and just in general given the whole year and given having a pandemic birthday, I was just happy that we were able to share that like love and share that time and just kind of like really like love on each other. October, so October is when I launched Skin Merch. So Skin Merch really came out of nowhere. I felt like I just had this creative like itch that I had to scratch and I was just like, okay, I want to make like apparel like I have this idea like I have this thought in my head and I kind of like need to get it out all my creatives you should know where I'm coming from because like when you when you have a thought and you're like a creative you have to get it out like there's no keeping it in and that's when that happened skin merch honestly has done so well ever since and for everyone that supports me thank you so much um, I love it um, I love seeing people rock my stuff I love seeing people love their skin and all that stuff and it's so nice also in October I took my first trip of the whole pandemic so post my birthday which happened pre kind of beginning of pandemic we went to motherfucking Houston. And when I tell you, Houston really like, this is when I felt like Stella got her groove back, okay? Like, I was feeling myself. I shopped for clothes for the first time in the pandemic. Again, I had braids, my braids was mad, beaut. And when we was in Houston, we were cutting the fuck up. We were cutting the fuck up, okay? Um, October is when I felt like, honestly, between September and October, this is when it was really giving, or it was really starting to give princess vibes. I was giving princess vibes or leave me the fuck alone, okay? And I feel like this was, this was felt all around me, okay? And I mean that because if you wasn't giving me princess vibes, Undoubtedly, you're not even around anymore. Okay? And people was really showing me the attention that I feel like I deserve. And not like I need anybody's attention, because I don't. Um, but like I was just like, okay, yeah, yeah, talk to me nice. Like, okay? And that's when I started starting to get brands, partnerships, and things like that. Like, I really felt and are still feeling super recognized. Like, I feel like October was a huge turning point for me mentally, and that mental shift translated into physical. All right, so we're coming down to the end. We are at November. Um, November was, mm, November was a, a transition month for me. Um, so basically, I took out my braids, I started, I cut my hair, so I would have my natural hair out and stuff, and I was like, you know what? It's me, like this is me, this is how I'm rocking, this is where I'm at with it, and I started like really like coming together low key. Like you ever have like that moment when you're just like, like November and December, like these are the grind months. Like these are the months where I gotta get my shit together, gotta get my shit right. Like who do you wanna be? What do you wanna be now? Who do you wanna start the next year as? Like who, what are you gonna do? Who, who are you gonna be? And I really was like, you know what? This is my hair, this is what I'm doing, this is my 
skin, this is how I'm feeling, this is my mental state, this is what I'm, you know, this is how I'm thinking, this is how I'm moving. And I really felt like, you know what, I have great people around me. Uh, I kind of weeded out all the noise of the, no offense, but ain't shit people that tried to come around, whether you was a friend, whether you was trying to be more than a friend or anything like that. You got put the fuck out by this time. Um, you dis the fuck appeared, which is also fine. Whether I kicked you out or you kicked yourself out, either way, you was gone. And I was really like starting to get a hold like on my like moving forward steps. Like what are what are my plans? What um, is my schedule looking like? Like how am I getting my savings together? How am I getting my like like kind of like what are literally my next steps? Like let's really like buckle down like what is your plan? Like and getting that down on paper, getting that like down like hard like hard body in your notebook and whatever. And um that also brought me to my next launch of skin merch, which was great. My sweats, um, I love them. They're so comfortable. Um, and that was like another thing, like solidifying my brand, um, solidifying more things like health wise. Um, I've been healthy all pandemic, but really starting to like, like commit to that. Um, what else? So my hair is flourishing, my health is flourishing, my plans are flourishing, um, my work life is flourishing. Um, a lot of things are coming together in unexpected ways where I'm really just like, okay, like we're here, like what's good? And then um, at the end of November, I was able to go home and I was able to see my family and it was different because we had to keep our distance from a lot of people and things like that. Um, but it was also amazing in the way that like I was just able to be home and see them um, and really like realign, refocus, be away from home for a little bit and get into my December mindset. So now we're in December. Um, it's still the beginning of December, but we are in December. Um, so I know that my last video was disheartening for me and I know some of you guys that watched also felt bad for me as well um I'm still dealing with it um I'm not sure exactly what's happening with it but um I'm alive <laughs> I'm alive um me days alive she was driving with me um and I honestly have just a different perspective on my life um, I have a different perspective on who I'm going to keep around in my life, how I'm going to kind of like start to envision things in my life, and it really kind of solidified the fact that I was kind of talking with someone super important who came back around, or I came back around, or I don't know, like I, we just, you know, clicked again, um, and they've really been helping me with like positive mindset things um we're at the same sign and things like that and they've really been like kind of getting me into that mindset of being like okay your life is exactly what you think it is right so if you think your life is shit your life is gonna be shit right if you think your life is bomb your life is gonna be bomb and nothing that happens can change that you know and so even though this happened to me it's like this is not an end all be all, you know? Like if my car is totaled, I get a new car. If my car is not totaled, I pay my deductible. I'm still living, I'm still breathing, you know? And then with myself, it also was just kind of like, how do I want to live 2021, you know? I only want pure vibes, pure energy, and people who appreciate me in 2021, like dead ass. There's no room for the phony. There's no room for the fake. There's no room for the lower vibrations. There's none. And I feel like I half tolerated it in 2020 and half didn't. Um, I knew what I wanted and knew what I deserved. But at the same time, I think I still allow some things just because there's always that middle room of being faithful, not being faithful, but being understanding to other people's timelines and where they're at 
but now I realize there's also an in-between of seeing where someone's at and being like when you get to a different level that doesn't lower my level or doesn't try to lower my vibrations I'll see you again you know and that's friends that's relationships that's everything right so all in all I'm ending 2020 with plans I'm ending 2020 with vision I'm ending 2020 with love I'm ending 2020 on princess vibes I am ending 2020 just feeling good, like feeling good, honestly, and knowing what I need, knowing what I deserve, knowing my worth and all that stuff, and I'm ready for 2021. Come at me. We are motherfucking ready for you, um, but don't try us, please, well, and if you do, um, we understand that everything happens for a reason, but that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed the format of this. I hope you guys stayed at least to the end or clicked around or whatever. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.